Shalom, people of God. I welcome each and everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a word and declarations with Lynette. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel, thank you so much for taking a pause to listen to this ministration. I pray as you stay connected, whatsoever you so much desire, that breakthrough that you need from God, you shall testify in the name of Jesus. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you'll become part of this awesome family. And as for those returning as family, you already know that I love you and I will keep praying and interceding for you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've told you, always feel free to communicate. If there is something you're believing God for, if there is something you want us to pray about, if there is something you're confused about and you want us to talk, you can always email me. So we are going to have a talk. I believe God is going to give you direction. I believe God is going to give you the answer you so much desire in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, no one comes into the presence of the Lord and goes back the same. No one comes into to the presence of the Lord and goes back the same. I believe that as you stay connected, whatsoever you seek from God, you shall testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray that may you continue to guide and protect them. I pray that whatever they desire from you, may you grant their heart desires in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray may you continue to cause your light to shine upon us. I pray may you bless whatever we lay our hands to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says, as you tell someone, how come you don't know about this? The Lord says, I should ask you, how come you don't know about this? The enemy is manipulating your mind. The enemy is making you to feel like you are alone. This person I'm talking to, you're going through some difficulties in life. You feel like nothing good can come out of you. You feel like you have bad luck. You feel like everything that is happening to you is negative. This is because you are not aware. The Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. A lot of believers are crying. A lot of believers are going through pain because they don't know that God is always by their side. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 23 verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. This is an assurance that God is giving you. No matter what you're going through, God is by your side. No matter how hurt you are right now, I want you to understand that God loves you. He sees everything that is happening to you. Each time you open your mouth to pray, each time you open your mouth to complain, God is by your side and he is your comforter. That is why he says, even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death, he is there with you. Sometimes God lets you go through some situations because he wants you to learn. Sometimes God allows you to go through difficulties because he wants you to learn something out of that situation. There are a lot of people in the Bible who went through difficult situations. I'm sure by then they were thinking that God has abandoned them. I'm sure they thought that God didn't love them enough. The Bible says God promised Abraham that he is going to be the father of many nations, but Abraham waited for so long and the child was not coming forward. The Bible says Abraham hoped against all hope. This is what I want you to do. No matter what you're going through, hope that God is going to do it for you. No matter the difficulties you find yourself into, know that God is by your side. Keep on being faithful and you shall testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you. The will of God over your life will manifest. I come against the manipulation of the enemy to think that you are cursed. I come against the manipulation of the enemy to think that you have bad luck. I pray God is going to renew your mind in the name of Jesus. As you stay connected, believing and hoping that God is going to take you out of that situation. When the right time comes, you shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever God wants you to learn, whatever God wants you to learn from that situation, I pray you learn from 
so you can be graduated in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all so much for being a part of this session. I hope you received this word with gladness. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so whenever I upload new content, you will be the first to know. I love you all so much, family. And see you in our next session. God bless you. Shalom.